On International Women's Day 2021, it's a good time to reflect on the sheer volume of tasks women have carried over the past year. Here at the Centre for Women's Health Research at the University of Newcastle, we are proud to be one of the hosts of the Australian Longitudinal Study on Women's Health and have been running this study now for over 25 years. Last year, we were privileged to collect data from more than 6,000 women over the course of a six, about a six month period. Despite the COVID burdens women were carrying, these marvellous participants completed 14 short surveys on a fortnightly basis and have provided a unique window into women's lives during the pandemic. The information shows a huge impact on well-being of homeschooling, while also doing paid work in the home and outside of the home. Women reported the re-emergence of mental health problems that had last been experienced many years before, and some women reported the onset of depression and anxiety. Lockdowns were comforting to some and highly stressful to others. While the release from lockdown left some women plagued with anxiety and others relieved that they could again go about their regular lives, at least to some extent. Alongside the practical and emotional impacts of lockdowns were fears about job security and financial wellbeing, and overlaying it all was the stress of living with the threat of the pandemic getting out of control. Yet not all of the results were negative. Women wrote about having more time to reflect on their lives, more time to spend time with family, and also older women wrote about becoming IT literate for the first time as a way to combat isolation. Gaining perspective on what is valuable in life was also a common theme. If you're interested in seeing the results from these surveys in more detail, including some early stats, you can find the short reports for each survey on the Longitudinal Studies website, alswh.org.au. Happy International Women's Day. <laughs>